Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna look at how to resolve force vectors. So let's get started. It says here that when multiple forces act on an object, we can resolve them into a resultant force. This is a single force that has the same effect as the other forces combined. It then goes on to say we are often given a resultant force and asked to work out the horizontal and vertical components. So we're actually doing the opposite of this case here. We can do this using trigonometry, Sokotoa. So if we look at the picture here, you'll see that we have a resultant force F and we can resolve this into its two perpendicular components. So we've got a vertical component here and a horizontal component here. So we've also got an angle theta here, which the resultant force F makes with the horizontal. So using Sokotoa, we can do a simple proof to show that this side is gonna be F cos theta and this side is gonna be F sine theta. And we can do that just using sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse to get this one here, because that'll allow us to get this side, which we can then move over to here. And we can use cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So that is gonna allow us to get this side. So if we look down here, we have sort of two little equations. These are not official equations that you'll see on the relationship sheet in the exam, but I've put them in boxes because they're important to remember. So to find the horizontal component, you need to use FH equals F cos theta. And I've used the subscript H to keep it separate from the vertical component and the resultant force F. So FH equals F cos theta for horizontal. And for the vertical component, we have Fv equals F sine theta. So you need to remember that for horizontal, it's cos or cos and for vertical it's sine. So how might you remember which one to use when? Well, a good way to remember it is that cos goes across. Okay, so cos goes across on your page and sine is just gonna be the other one, which is vertical. Lastly, it says here to note that as the angle to the horizontal increases, FV increases and FH decreases. So as the angle increases, the vertical component of the force will increase and the horizontal component of the force will decrease. So let's have a look at that. So we're saying that as the angle here increases, the resultant force F will be closer and closer to this vector here, the vertical component. So we're saying that FV will increase and FH will decrease, which should kind of make sense because we're moving closer to that component. And the opposite is also true. So if this resultant force vector is closer to the horizontal component here, i.e. with a smaller angle theta, then that means that the horizontal component FH is going to be bigger than the vertical component FV. And I'll just show you a quick simulation to visualize this. So you can ignore the text here, but just looking at this area here. So if I click there, you'll see that the horizontal component increases as the resultant force vector moved towards it. So just show you that again. Okay, and you'll notice that the vertical component becomes zero because we're now lying completely along the horizontal. And similarly for the vertical component, if we were to increase the vertical component and increase the angle theta, then you'll see the vertical component increases as the resultant force moves towards it. And we now have a horizontal component of zero because there's no vector going horizontally. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.